Davis, California. Davis, known prior to 1907 as Davisville, is a city in the U.S. state of California and the most populous city in Yolo County. It had a population of 65,622 in 2010, not including the on-campus population of the University of California, Davis, which was over 9,400 not including students' families in 2016. As of 2019, there were 38,369 students enrolled at the university. History Davis sits on land that originally belonged to the indigenous Patwin, a southern branch of Wintum people, who were killed or forced from their lands by the 1830s as part of the California genocide through a combination of mass murders. Patwin burials grounds have been found across Davis, including on the site of the UC Davis Mondabi Center. After the killing and expulsion of the Patwin territory that eventually became Davis emerged from one of California's most complicated, corrupt land grants Laguna de Santos Cal. The 1852 Land Commission concurred with U.S. attorneys who argued that the grant was fraudulent in all its parts, and in his 1860 District Court ruling Justice Ogden Hoffman observed that it is impossible to contemplate without disgust the series of perjuries which compose the record of the land grant. Nevertheless, Jerome C. Davis, a prominent farmer and one of the early claimants to land in Laguna de Santos Cal, lobbied all the way to the United States Congress in order to retain the land that eventually became Davis. Davis became a depot on the Southern Pacific Railroad in 1868, when it was named Davisville after Jerome C. Davis. However, the post office at Davisville shortened the town name to Davis in 1907. The name stuck, and the city of Davis was incorporated on March 28, 1917. From its inception as a farming community, Davis is known primarily for its contributions to agricultural policy, along with veterinary care and animal husbandry. Following the passage of the University Farm Bill in 1905 by the California State Legislature, Governor George Pardee selected Davis out of 50 other sites as the future home to the University of California's University Farm, officially opening to students in 1908. The farm, later renamed the Northern Branch of the College of Agriculture, in 1922, was upgraded to become the 7th UC General Campus, the University of California, Davis, in 1959. Geography and Environment Location Davis is located in Yolo County, California, 11 my 18 km west of Sacramento, 70 my 113 km northeast of San Francisco, 385 my 619 km north of Los Angeles, at the intersection of Interstate 80 and State Route 113. Neighboring towns include Dixon, Winters, Woodland, and West Sacramento. Today this lies in the Sacramento Valley, the northern portion of the Central Valley, in Northern California, at an elevation of about 52 feet 16 m above sea level. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 10.5 square miles 27 km2. 10.4 square miles 27 km2 of it is land and 0.4 square mile 0.10 km2 of it 0.19% is water. The topography is flat, which has helped Davis to become known as a haven for bicyclists. Climate The Davis climate resembles that of nearby Sacramento and is typical of California's Central Valley Mediterranean climate region, warm and dry in the spring, summer and autumn, and cool and wet in the winter. It is classified as a Koppen CSA climate. Summer days are hot, ranging from 85 to 105 deg F29 to 41 deg C, but the nights turn pleasantly cool, almost always dropping below 70 deg F21 deg C. The Delta Breeze, a flow of cool marine air originating from the Pacific Ocean via San Francisco Bay and the Sacramento San Joaquin River Delta, frequently provides relief in the evening. Winter temperatures generally reach between 45 and 65 deg F7 
and 18 deg C in the afternoon nights average at about 35 to 40 deg F2 to 4 deg C, but often fall below freezing. Average temperatures range from 46 deg F8 deg C in December and January to 75 deg F24 deg C in July and August. Thick ground fog called tool fog settles into Davis during late fall and winter. This fog can be dense, with visibility nearly zero. As in other areas of Northern California, the tool fog is a leading cause of road accidents in the winter season. Mean rainfall per annum is about 20 inches, 510 mm. The bulk of rain occurs between about mid-November to mid-March, with typically no precipitation falling from mid-June to mid-September. Record temperatures range from a high of 116 deg F47 deg C on July 17, 1925, to a low of 12 deg F11 deg C on December 11, 1932. Neighborhoods Davis is internally divided by two freeways Interstate 80 and State Route 113, a north-south railroad California Northern and east-west mainline Union Pacific and several major streets. The city is unofficially divided into six main districts made up of smaller neighborhoods often originally named as housing subdivisions, Central Davis, north of 5th Street and Russell Boulevard, south of Colville BLVD, east of SM 113, and west of the railroad tracks running along G Street. Within these boundaries is the officially denoted neighborhood of Old North Davis, which is sometimes also considered part of downtown. Downtown Davis, roughly the numbered and lettered grid north of Eminis 80 south of 5th Street, east of a street, and west of the railroad tracks, including the Aggie Village and Olive Drive areas. East Davis, north of Eminis 80 south of Koval BLVD, and east of the railroad tracks. It includes the older, inner East Davis of lettered streets and neighborhoods, such as Davis Manor, Chestnut, and Rancho Yolo, as well as more distinctly identified in some cases Walden subdivisions, such as Mace Ranch, Lake Alhambra Estates, and Wild Horse. North Davis, north of Koval BLVD. North Davis includes Koval Park, Sendinuva, North Star, and North Davis Farms. South Davis, south of Eminis 80 and includes Willow Bank, El Macero, California, although outside the city limits, is sometimes considered part of South Davis, El Macero is part of the Davis Joint Unified School District, and El Macero children who attend public schools attend Davis Public Schools. West Davis, north of Eminis 80 and west of SR 113. West Davis includes Westwood, Evergreen, Aspen, Stonegate west of Lake Boulevard, and including Stonegate Lake and the Stonegate Country Club, and the eco-friendly village homes development, known for its solar-powered houses. The University of California, Davis is located south of Russell Boulevard and west of a street, and then south of First Street. The land occupied by the university is not incorporated within the boundaries of the city of Davis and lies within both Yulo and Solano counties. Environment Local energy planning began in Davis after the energy crisis of 1973. A new building code promoted energy efficiency. Energy use in buildings decreased dramatically, and in 1981 Davis citizens won a $100,000 prize from utility PG&E for cutting electricity use during the summer peak. On November 14, 1984, the Davis City Council declared the city to be a nuclear-free zone. In 1998, the city passed a dark skies ordinance in an effort to reduce light pollution in the night sky. In 2013, Davis became part of the State Cool Roof Initiative with the Cool Davis Campaign. The aim is to reflect more sunlight back into space via the albedo effect and reduce the amount of heat absorbed in hopes of limiting climate change. Demographics Davis is part of the Sacramento Arden Arcade Roseville Metropolitan Statistical Area. 2010 The 2010 United States Census reported that Davis had a population of 65,622. The population density was 6,000, 
615.8 people per square mile 2554. The racial makeup of Davis was 42,571, 64.9% white, 1528, 2.3% African American, 339, 0.5% Native American, 14,355, 21.9% Asian, 136, 0.0%. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 8,172 persons, 12.5%. In 2006, Davis was ranked as the second most educated city in terms of the percentage of residents with graduate degrees in the U.S. by CNN Money Magazine, after Arlington, Virginia. Davis' Asian population of 14,355 was apportioned among 1631 Indian Americans, 6,395 Chinese Americans, 1560 Korean Americans, 1185 Vietnamese Americans, 1033 Filipino Americans, 953 Japanese Americans, and 15 Davis Hispanic and Latino population of 8,172 was apportioned among 5,618 Mexican American, 221 Puerto Rican American, 80 Cuban American, and 2253 other Hispanic and Latino. The census reported that 63,500 people, 96.8% of the population, lived in households, 1823, 2.8% lived in non institutionalized group quarters, and 277, 0.4% were institutionalized. There were 24,873 households of which 6,119.24.6% had children under the age of 18 living in them, 9,343.37.6% were opposite-sex married couples living together, 1887.6% had a female household. There were 1295.5.2% unmarried opposite-sex partnerships and 2100.8% same-sex married couples or partnerships. 5,952 households, 23.9% were made up of individuals and 1665.6.7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.55. There were 11,925 families, 47.9% of all households. The average family size was 2.97. The population age and sex distribution was 10,760 people, 16.4% under the age of 18. 21,757 people, 33.2% aged 18 to 24. 14,823 people. 22.6% aged 25 to 44. The median age was 25.2 years. For every 100 females, there were 90.5 males. For every 100 females aged 18 and over, there were 88.0 males. There were 25,869 housing units with an average density of 2608.0 per square mile 1007.0 slash km2 of which 10,699.43.0% were owner-occupied and 14,174.57.0% were occupied. The homeowner vacancy rate was 0.9%. The rental vacancy rate was 3.5%. 27,594 people, 42.0% of the population, lived in owner-occupied housing units, and 35,928 people, 54.7%, lived in rental housing units. 2000. As of the United States 2000 census, there were 60,308 people, 22,948 households, and 11,290 families residing in the city. The population density was 5,769.2 inhabitants per square mile 2228.2 slash KM2. There were 23,000. 
617 housing units at an average density of 2259.3 per square mile 872.6 slash km2. The racial composition of the city was 70.7% white, 2.35% black or African American, 0.67% Native American, 17.5% Asian, 0.24% Pacific Islander, 4.26% from other races, and 4.87%, 9.61% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. There were 22,948 households, of which 26.4% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 38.3% were married couples living together, 8.2% had a female householder with no husband present, and 50.8% were non-families. 25.0% of all households were composed of individuals, and 5.2% had someone living alone, who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.50, and the average family size was 3.0. In the city, the population age distribution was 18.6% under the age of 18, 30.9% from 18 to 24, 27.1% from 25 to 44, 16.7% from 45 to 64, and 6.6% .6 who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 25 years. For every 100 females, there were 91.2 males. For every 100 females aged 18 and over, there were 87.8 males. The median income for a household in the city was $42,454, and the median income for a family was $74,051. Males had a median income of $51,189 versus $36,082 for females. The per capita income for the city was $22,937. About 5.4% of families and 24.5% of the population were below the poverty line, including 6.8% of those under age 18 and 2.8% of those age 65 or over. This city of approximately 62,000 people abuts a university campus of 32,000 students. Although the university's land is not incorporated within the city, many students live off campus in the city. Economy The California Northern Railroad is based in Davis. Top employers According to the city's 2011 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, the top employers in the city are Davis Dollars A community currency scheme was in use in Davis, called Davis Dollars. Bicycling. Bicycling. Bicycling has been one of the most popular modes of transportation in Davis for decades, particularly among school-age children and UC Davis students. In 2010, Davis became the new home of the United States Bicycling Hall of Fame. Bicycle infrastructure became a political issue in the 1960s, culminating in the election of a pro-bicycle majority to the city council in 1966. By the early 1970s, Davis became a pioneer in the implementation of cycling facilities. As the city expands, new facilities are usually mandated. As a result, Davis residents today enjoy an extensive network of bike lanes, bike paths, and grade-separated bicycle crossings. The flat terrain and temperate climate are also conducive to bicycling. In 2005, the Bicycle Friendly Community Program of the League of American Bicyclists recognized Davis as the first platinum level city in the U.S. In March 2006, Bicycling Magazine named Davis the best small town for cycling in its compilation of America's best biking cities. Bicycling appears to be declining among Davis residents from 1990 to 2000. The U.S. Census Bureau reported a decline in the fraction of commuters traveling by bicycle from 22% to 15%. This resulted in the re-establishment of the city's Bicycle Advisory Commission and creation of advocate groups such as Davis Bicycles. Bicycles.
eh, suckles. In 2016, Fifth Street, a main road in Davis, was converted from four lanes to two lanes to allow for bicycle lanes and encourage more bicycling. In 1996, 2001, 2006, and 2009, the UC Davis Cal Aggie Cycling Team won the National Road Cycling Competition. The team also competes off-road and on the track and has competed in the national competitions of these disciplines. In 2007, UC Davis also organized a record-breaking bicycle parade numbering 822 bicycles. Sites and Culture Whole Earth Festival A continuous stream of bands, speakers and various workshops occurs throughout Mother's Day weekend on each of Whole Earth Festival's WEF three stages and other specialty areas. The WEF is organized entirely by UC Davis students in association with the Associated Students of UC Davis and the University. Celebrate Davis Celebrate Davis is the annual free festival held by the Davis Chamber of Commerce. It features booths by Davis businesses, live music, food vendors, live animals, activities like rock climbing and zip line. It concludes with fireworks after dark. Parking is problematic, so most people ride their bikes and use the free valet parking. Picnic Day Picnic Day is an annual event at the University of California, Davis, and is always held on the third Saturday in April. It is the largest student-run event in the U.S. Picnic Day starts off with a parade, which features the UC Davis California Aggie Marching Band off, and runs through campus and around downtown Davis and ends with the Battle of the Bands, which lasts until the last band stops playing sometimes until 2 a.m., there are over 150 free events and over 50,000 attend every year. Other highlights include the Dachshund Races aka the Doxy Derby, held in the Pavilion, the Davis Rock Challenge, the Chemistry Magic Show, and the Sheep Dog Trials. Many departments have exhibits and demonstrations, such as the Coal Facility, which until recently showed a fistulated cow, a cow that has been fitted with a plastic portal of fistula into its digestive system to observe digestion processes. Its name was Whole Y Cow. Davis Transmedia Art Walk The Davis Transmedia Art Walk is a free self-guided public art tour includes 23 A free Davis Art Walk map serves as a detailed guide to the entire collection. The art pieces are all within walking distance of each other. The walk is a roughly circuitous path that can be completed within an hour or two. Every piece of art on the art walk has been embedded with an ARFID chip. Using a cell phone that supports this technology, you access multimedia files that relate to each work. You can even leave a comment or burn your own message for other visitors to see. Artist-hosted tours are held on the weekend by appointment only. To pick up a copy of the Davis Art Walk map, Visit the Yolo County Visitors Bureau 132 E. St. Suite 200 530 297 1900 or the John Natsolis Center for the Arts 521 First St. 530-756-3938. Manatee Shrem Museum of Art The Manatee Shrem Museum of Art, located on the UC Davis campus, opened on November 13, 2016, and carries on the legacy of the university's world-renowned first-generation art faculty, which contributed to innovations in conceptual, performance, and video art in the 1960s and 70s. The museum has generated nationwide attention with exhibits by artists such as Wayne Thebaud, Bruce Norman, John Cage, and Robert Arneson, as well as its striking architecture, featuring a 50,000-square-foot grand canopy of perforated aluminum triangular beams supported by 40 steel columns. Every year, the museum exhibits works by graduating art students. The museum is free and hosts lecture series and events throughout the year, as well as weekend art studio activities for all ages. Mondavi Center 
The Mondavi Center, located on the UC Davis campus, is one of the biggest non-seasonal attractions in Davis. The Mondavi Center is a theater which hosts many world-class touring acts, including star performers such as Yo-Yo Ma, Yitzhak Perlman, and Wynton Marsalis, and draws a large audience from Sacramento. UC Davis Arboretum The UC Davis Arboretum is an arboretum and botanical garden. Plants from all over the world grow in different sections of the park. There are notable oak and native plant collections and a small redwood grove. A small waterway spans the arboretum along the bed of the old north fork of Pewter Creek. Occasionally herons, kingfishers, and cormorants can be seen around the waterways, as well as the ever-present ducks. Tours of the arboretum led by volunteer naturalists are often held for grade school children. The domes the Domes, Akabagans and Innovative Housing, is an on-campus cooperative housing community designed by project manager Ron Swenson and future student residents in 1972. Consisting of 14 polyurethane foam insulated fiberglass domes and located in the sustainable research area at the western end of Orchard Road, it is governed by its 26 UCD student residents. It is one of the few student co-housing cooperative communities in the U.S. and is an early example of the modern-day growing tiny house movement. The community has successfully resisted several threats to its continuation over the years. Farmer's Market The Davis Farmer's Market is held every Wednesday evening and Saturday morning. Participants sell a range of fruits, and vegetables, baked goods, dairy, and meat products, often from certified organic farms, crafts, and plants and flowers. From April to October, the market hosts picnic in the park, with musical events and food sold from restaurant stands. The Davis Farmer's Market won first place in the 2009 and second place in the 2010 America's Favorite Farmers Markets held by the American Farmland Trust under the Large Farmers Market Classification. Media Davis has one newspaper, the Davis Enterprise, a thrice weekly founded in 1897. UC Davis also has a weekly newspaper called the California Aggie, which covers campus, local, and national news. Davis Media Access, a community media center, is the umbrella organization of television station DCTV. There are also numerous commercial stations broadcasting from nearby Sacramento. Davis has two community radio stations, KDVS 90.3 FM on the University of California campus and KDRT 95.7 FM, a subsidiary of Davis Media Access and one of the first low-power FM radio stations in the United States. Davis has the world's largest English language, local wiki Davis Wiki. Toad Tunnel Davis Toad Tunnel is a wildlife crossing that was constructed in 1995 and has drawn much attention over the years, including a mention on The Daily Show. Because of the building of an overpass, animal lovers worried about toads being killed by cars commuting from South Davis to North Davis, since the toads traveled from one side of a dirt lot which the overpass replaced to the reservoir at the other end. After much controversy, a decision was made to build a toad tunnel, which runs beneath the Pole Line Road overpass, which crosses Interstate 80. The project cost $14,000, equivalent to $24,000 in 2020. The tunnel is 21 inches 53 cm wide and 18 inches 46 cm high. Davis Food Coop The Davis Food Coop is a Davis institution. Founded in 1972, this cooperative is presently owned and operated by over 9,000 members and families of the Davis community. The Coop is a full-service supermarket that has championed organic, healthy eating in the community, sponsoring community events including summer programs for children, cooking classes, and many other activities. Davis Pride Run Slash Walk for Equality and Community Festival Davis Pride is an all-day all-inclusive, family-friendly celebration event for members and supporters of the LGBTQ plus community. 
Davis Pride is a two-part large-scale fundraising event for the Davis Phoenix Coalition developed each year by a volunteer planning committee made of community members invested not only in the city of Davis, but Yolo County and 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 the day starts off with the run slash walk for equality a brisk 1k slash 5k slash 10k run slash walk through the picturesque davis renowned green belts after which is followed by the free community fair which includes the pride music festival vendor booths exhibits cultural presentations delicious food booths and many of your closest friends education university of california the university of california davis or uc davis a campus of the university of california had a 2019 fall enrollment of 38,369 students uc davis has a dominant influence on the social and cultural life of the town dq university also known as Deganawida Quetzalcoatl University and much smaller than UC Davis, DQ University was a two year institution located on Road 31 in Yolo County, 6.7 miles 11 km west of State Route 113. This is just west of Davis near the Yolo County Airport. About 4 miles 6 km to the west, the Road 31 exit from Interstate 505 is marked with cryptic signage DQU. The site is about 100 feet 30 m above mean sea level Ansel. NA-83 coordinates for the campus are 38-34-12 and 121-53-12 W-W. The college closed in 2005. The curriculum was said to include heritage and traditional American Indian ceremonies. The 643 acres 2.60 came to and five buildings were formerly a military reservation, according to a National Park Service publication, Five Views. The full name of the school is included here, so that readers can accurately identify the topic. According to some tribal members, use of the spelled-out name of the university can be offensive. People who want to be culturally respectful refer to the institution as DQ University. Tribal members in appropriate circumstances may use the full name. Other colleges. An off campus branch of Sacramento City College is located in Davis. The satellite is located in West Village, an area built by UC Davis to house students and others affiliated with the university. Public schools. Davis Public School System is administrated by the Davis Joint Unified School District. The city has nine public elementary schools North Davis. Birch Lane Pioneer Elementary, Patwin Cesar Chavez, Robert E. Willett, Marguerite Montgomery, Fred T. Kormitsu at Mace Ranch, and Fairfield Elementary, which is outside the city limits, but opened in 1866 and is Davis Joint Unified School District's oldest. Davis has one school for independent study, Davis School for Independent Study, three public junior high schools, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Oliver Wendell Holmes and Francis Harper, one main high school Davis Senior High School, one alternative high school Martin Luther King High School, and a small project-based Cesar Chavez is a Spanish immersion school with no English integration until the third grade. The junior high schools contain grades 7 through 9. Due to a decline in the school age population in Davis, Two of the elementary schools in South Davis may have their district boundaries changed, or magnet programs may be moved to equalize enrollment. Valley Oak was closed after the 2007-8 school year, and their campus was granted to Da Vinci High, which had formerly been located in the back of Davis Senior High's campus, and a special ed preschool. On average, class size is about 25 students, one teacher. At one time, Chavez and Willett were incorporated together to provide elementary education K-6 to both English-speaking and Spanish immersion students in West Davis. Cesar Chavez served grades K-3 and was called West Davis Elementary and Robert E. Willett named for a longtime teacher at the school, now deceased, served grades 4-6 and was known as West Davis Intermediate. 
Will it now serves K6 English speaking students, and Chavis supports the Spanish immersion program for K6. Private schools Davis Waldorf School Pre K 8. Notable people Sister cities Davis sister cities are 